between the excitements, everything, uh, Mitch, and this is Mitch Reviews, everything, uh, and today I'll be doing a beer review, but it'll be kind of a special beer review, uh, this is gonna be part one of two, uh, I'll be reviewing today, uh, for part one, Terrapin Salted Caramel Imperial Moohoo, uh, from their special reserve from 2018, and in part two, I will be reviewing Terrapin's um, standard seasonal Moohoo chocolate milk stout that they released for uh, their winter release. But let's stick to part one today. Um, again, Salted Karma Imperial Moohoo. This is a partnership with Olive and St. Clair Chocolate Company, and they use their chocolates to help create this uh, marvelous concoction. I haven't had it yet, but I'm sure it will be good. The alcohol content is 8.5%. It says, our salted caramel imperial moohoo is like candy dish filled with one of your favorite treats. Salty sweet caramel flavors. Flavors are balanced perfectly with dark chocolate notes and a silky smooth mouthful. Proof for the sweet tooth in all of us. This indulgent ale is what we've been craving in a pastry stout. Cheers. From Terrapin uh, Brewing Company out of Athens, Georgia. This is in a one pint bottle. Um, very, uh wine like bottle so special reserve there is their little turtle which I love that um, let's go ahead and uh, get this in a glass so I won't waste any more time you know I was in the six pack shop and I was like huh I found the uh, boohoo and then I saw their special reserve and I thought I should do a Basically a part one and two comparison. Even though these are two separate beers, they're very uh, similar, I guess. And um, you know, the base, I would say, I guess. But pure poured with a nice brownish, maybe even copperish uh, one finger ahead on there. That is dark as dark can be I can't even see in the light through it even a reddish tint so that is dark wow super dark see how it smells obviously the first thing I'm smelling I'm smelling um of chocolate Smelling like a bitter hoppy in this, kind of. Wow, I can... The smell of that's actually so strong, it was burning my throat a little bit. <coughs> wow, holy crap. Well, I'm just getting a, a chocolate smell to it, chocolate notes. Um, and I'm smelling... It does smell a little sweet. But, let's go ahead and taste it. Wow. Um. Huh. That is a slightly sweet chocolatey flavor. Um. Think like a um. Semi-sweet chocolate. Um. Wow. It's smooth. It's pretty smooth. Full mouthful. And it doesn't have that. It has a slight bitterness on the back end. But I will say, I really thought this was going to be really, really bitter. And wow, whew, on a, the, the back end of that is, wow, really chocolatey on the back end. Oh, wow. Um, man. just taste of it does have that mouthfeel salted caramel imperial muhu it does have that that silky texture and you're definitely you definitely know there is no doubt you are drinking some in chocolate infused beer um, but it, it is smooth 
I taste the chocolate in it. I wasn't getting the caramel right off the back, or right on the front when I first started drinking it, but when I gave it a second on my tongue, I got the chocolate, and heavy, like that heavy afternoon of chocolate and caramel really hits you on the end. I really didn't get it at first, but wow, it's it's a, a not too bitter, um, not too sweet, and that's a really nice flavor. If you like chocolate and caramel, that is a really, really, really nice chocolate caramel notes on there. That is just fantastic. Um, uh, they only This is a, a reserve 2018 release. Um, I did look on their website. They had released a couple different, um, like kind of a, uh, they had one, they had a couple on there from the reserve called Irish, uh, Babai Wake and Bake Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout, they had a Raspberry Truffle, uh, Wake and Bake Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout, and a Mutella Chocolate Hazelnut Imperial Milk Stout for the reserves, um, Wish I could try those. I didn't see any of those sitting on the shelf. This was rather expensive. This bottle was uh, 13 bucks for a single pint, so it's a rather expensive beer. But boy, is this fantastic! I just, I, it really, it tastes exactly like what you'd imagine. Um, the only, like I said, difference is for me, I imagine this to be uh, other imperial stouts. I are, are pretty bitter on the tongue. This one is not bitter. I'm really, really surprised. Maybe the sweetness had taken that away, but wow, this is a... If you're looking to have a... treat yourself to a fantastic uh, beer, please give us a try. Um, that's really all I have for you today. Um, but I will see you in part two of this, of this review as we go through Terrapin. Uh, we will try the Moohoo Chocolate Milk Stout. And I will have these up, hopefully, within a couple days of each other. Anyway, I'm Mitch from Mitch Reviews Everything. I will see you on part two of our Moo Hoo adventure with Terrapin. Thank you.